Oh my gosh, what is happening in life? Hey guys, what is going on? I hope that this video finds you well. In today's video, we are going to be doing some point of view photography with an amazing Porsche 911 GT3 RS with a Visac package in Guards Red. So this in Canada is a one of two specs. So super rare here. I was shooting with a 35 millimeter prime and a 85 millimeter prime. We're gonna have a super chill video and just do some point of view shooting in the Rocky Mountains. I guess we'll do the rear quarter since we're this way. So I'll just get you to back the car up so that the rear of the car is about here. And then I want you to keep it pointed that way. So you're essentially gonna need to like move it over a bit and then just back it up. Keep going. Yeah, that's good there. And then I'll actually get you to keep keep the wheel to the, to the left, but I'm actually gonna get you to yeah, straighten it out for a sec. Go back just a bit more. I want to get the RS logo just go, go forward a bit. Keep going. I want a, a half rotation of the wheel. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Almost. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Okay, and then uh, get you to turn the wheel all one rotation to the left, one full rotation. Yeah, so your wheel should be straight again. And that's perfect. Good to go. And then uh, windows up and you're out. Is there any way you can keep it so like the lights are on so I can have the tail lights still on? They're on there. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. I am definitely not mad about these. These are amazing. door for me I want it to like kind of enter the frame but not get in the way so I'll bring it closer in a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more a little more yeah, there it is yeah just adding those like foreground details I kind of like this backdrop here, so I might try and change it up a bit. So essentially what I want is I want the car facing me, so like facing this way, and uh, the rear kind of towards the parking sign, so diagonal this way. I actually want you more that way. I want you to kind of go uh, maybe a full car length over. Yeah, and then 
part out. Okay, let's try that. Back up just a hair. A little more, yeah. Okay, and then turn the wheel the other way to your left. Yeah. Oh, this is printable. Yeah, put that on your wall. Sorry, I I also get excited about the work. Like I, I love what I do. It's that prime lens life, man. You gotta keep moving. Maybe we should go down the ramp. I want to get a big wing photo. I want him to go straight down, like face down. Cause then I can get down there and like get a massive shot of the wing. Technically worst case scenario conditions, but we've got a little bit of smoke and haze out here. So it actually is softening the sun a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, this is going to be so good. Holy sh um, yeah, I'll get you to keep going a little bit. I don't see any risk on the front. I got the front axle left. Oh, okay. And I'd go just a touch to your left. Can I get you to stay in the car and keep your feet on the brake? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. What is happening in life? You know how Danny Rojas says, Football is life. Porsche is life, baby. Porsche is life. This is insane. Are you kidding me right now? This is phenomenal. I'm insanely happy. No. some of the favorite photos I've ever taken. Like they're absolutely bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Whew. What's next? We're gonna switch over. We've got the 35 mil prime on, so we're just gonna switch over to the 85 mil prime. But an 85 mil will do is actually bring that backdrop kind of closer in. It's gonna add what's called compression. So hopefully we'll bring the Porsche and those mountains closer together. Okay, last shot, just flip it around 180 degrees, it'll get the front angle. Okay. And then we'll move on to the black one. Yeah, and then. Okay, and then I'll get you to back up just a little. And then if you can keep the lights on, but get out of the car. Perfect.
black car. Why don't we actually bring the black one in beside this one right now? We can do some side-by-sides and then we'll move the other one out. Switch back to the 35. Just directly beside it, same angle. Yeah, actually that's great. Okay, so a big thing with how we're gonna shoot this, we've got two cars, which means we need to keep them both in the frame and in focus. So we need to open up our aperture to have more depth. So not a shallow depth of the field, but a deep depth of field, if that makes sense. So I'm opening mine up to about 5.6. That should give us both cars in the frame. A nice mountain view. These are amazing. I'm using the polarizer to cut out reflections on the windshields so that it darkens those and takes out the reflection from the sky. Oh, we got shade. That's good. Shade is good. If you guys like the way that these photos are being edited, you can check out my Lightroom toolkit down below. There are stackable presets, meaning that you can start with your exposure adjustments, curve adjustments, add different color adjustments, sharpening, and masking that utilizes the AI in Lightroom. So it's a really cool preset pack that isn't just your standard issue presets, and I think you'll really enjoy them. So check them out linked down below. Thanks for hanging out, guys. If you made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Let me know if you guys learned something down down in the comments down below about how I interact with the driver, how I frame my shots, but I do hope that you were able to pick up a few ideas for yourself in your photography. If you guys did enjoy this video, you might like that one too, uh, but if you enjoy car content, car photography, car videography, consider subscribing to the channel, and otherwise, I do hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.